Hello and welcome back to Stampscapes 101. I'm going to do a quick card here using a 2x2 two two inch um, stamp board tile. And I'll, for a small composition like that, I mean, we're not going to have a lot of space to do a lot of imagery, so it's just going to be a quick composition using the light rocks and waves. I just used that in the previous uh, lesson and I thought let's do something kind of smaller to uh, you know, compare contrast against the uh, the previous composition. Um, all right, let's get to it. On a small scene like this, um, now there's all kinds of different ways you can use stamp board, but um, again, this is kind of a hardboard panel with a soft clay surface on it. And when I say soft, I don't mean, you know, mushy soft, it's hard, but uh, it is a workable surface. Now I'm just going on here straight with a Marvy um, Salvia Blue ink. It's going to be the lightest color that I'm going to be using. It looks real smeary right now because I just re-inked this. But for my first color I'm just going to go with uh, just a smear right across the entire surface there. This is the number 10 blue. I'm going to work it through a range of blues like this. Light, medium, and dark. I'll probably use maybe another even darker blue, but uh, let's just start off with those two. Alright, now even on a small tile like this, some small piece of uh, stamp board, I still want to go for a range of tones, okay? A range of values, actually. So... I'm going to always kind of um, liken this to uh, pretending there's a dime sitting in the middle of this um, tile, and I'm kind of working around that. Okay, so I'm going to be working into the scene. I have full coverage on the perimeter, because I'm usually starting on the perimeter and working my way in with this um, applicator, the stylus tool. Okay. And when I get enough coverage to about like that, imagine there's a little bit of a dime right there. I'll move on to my next color, which is the number three blue. It's a fairly dark blue. Um, and now I'm going to kind of pretend that there is a, oh, maybe a, like a 50 cent piece or something like that in the middle of my tile. Now here's the thing. I have this, when I'm tapping down like this, I'm not doing it so flat, you know, as to, you know, so I get, you know, the shape of the thing. What I'm doing here is I'm kind of doing it at an angle like this, so I'm never going down like that. I'm going at an angle like this. So what it looks like is like this. See, I have that kind of more angled down. This part is coming in contact. So this part is never doing it that way, you know, that way I'm not going to be getting all these ovals everywhere. Okay, so it's always at a bit of an angle. All right. Now, if you do get some of those oval shapes and the edges, you know, don't worry about it. Um, but if you want to avoid it, you know, then that's the trick. You know, just keeping the stylus tool at an angle. Okay, I'm going for full saturations out here. Okay. Now let's do go with a couple more values here. This is a um, Prussian blue. Prussian blue is a beautiful, deep, uh, I'd say almost, well, maybe not quite. I was going to say an almost black blue. But perhaps a little bit lighter than that. Okay, like almost like a deep, deep navy blue. All right. Um... Let's see. Let's go with a black on the perimeter. Okay. Go 
for about like that. Remember, I'm kind of angling the stylus tool wand so that the tip is also at an angle. Okay, so we have a range of blues going from light to dark. Okay, now we have a basically a you know three by four and a half inch block of wood right here. Image is filling up quite a bit of it. Now, naturally, some people say, wait a minute, you can't use a stamp this size on a tile this size. We'll just use a small portion of it if you want, you know. And then you can get a nice range of usage out of it. On my tile here, and I'm stamping tile to stamp, I just find it's easier to go with, this, you know, a small surface to a large stamp rather than going with a large stamp to a small surface because I can position it easier. I can tell. By the way, these are photo stickers on the back right here. and You'll see what I do with those later. Okay, so there's a my lighthouse there, and I'm going to stamp out this little stamp called Gulls there. What's this one? Position small stamps. Just kind of hold it in front, you know, and see where you like it. A lot of times people ask me, uh, you know, where should they put their um, smaller imagery? And they're kind of holding it like this and looking at a blank, you know, like that. And I say, well, hold it up there and, you know, see, you know, kind of move it around and see if there's one point that looks better to your eye. So making it visual as opposed to kind of conceptual is always a good idea in a visual art form. Okay, this is the cloud stamp here. Cloud cumulus, you know. So we're get, we are getting a you know a few images on there, surprisingly, for a small uh, surface, a small canvas, if you would. All right, and let's see. Can even put these little branches as if kind of you as we as the viewer are kind of looking into a scene, you know, from back into the scene. All right. Okay. All right. Now, let's go on with one of the really killer applications of this material that I think works great. And this is a scratch knife. And I'm going to go in and bring out the lights. If I was doing this on a piece of glossy paper I'd be using the white gel pen but this surface is workable so you can use these tools to go back in and define light this tool right here is kind of has kind of a, a rounded tip it's like a scoop this one is a sharp one rounded one gets more of a wider area and this one can get a very defined area even some of these bird wings maybe Capturing some light. I have these plants down here. I'm just kind of reiterating the outline of them. Maybe on one side of the leaf to kind of pull it out from the background. And I can go back in with my round one 
do a little twirl and we can kind of create these little stars. It's a great texture. Again, you've seen it on the other videos if you watched any of those where I do gel pen highlighting. Now we're not trying to you know dig down you know to the surface of this board so it's just you do a little twirl with a little bit of pressure and it creates these nice little this is the spoon one not the sharp one the sharp one I don't know if it would do anything so anyways there you have it um, and I have these little photo stickers I just kind of put them on ahead of time to save time in this video and by the way I just realized I didn't change my camera battery and it's flashing so this might turn off but here's my little mat here that I made for this 2 by 2 tile this is a bit of iridescent blue star dream paper let's see if I can't get this matted before my camera shuts down Here's my double mat. I usually like to go for double mats. Okay. Like that. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here eventually. I'm going to put that there. This makes a great little embellishment for a card. Okay. That's the way it's going to look. Let's see if I can get this on. If that camera shuts off, I thank you for watching. As always. Yeah, I can get those off of there. These things stick like iron. And a, a spray of the tile would have looked great too, but I don't have time to do that right now. But this is a piece of a blue glossy cardstock that I've had this matted to, and this would be great with a little seam down here, but anyways. A little card, three-dimensional embellishment like that is kind of fun. And it'd be fun to kind of border this with a, you know, a gold ink or something like that before I matted it. But anyways, I wanted to get this into a card format uh, in one video. So again, uh, real fun stuff. And let me just continue to add some of these little embellishments until the battery runs out. And let's see if I can do a twinkly light. Start off with one of these little stars and take the sharp tool and go from the center and pull out like that. And you kind of have a twinkly star. So there's that twinkly one right there. See that? It's kind of fun. Anyways, let's see, that will come into focus there. There's twinkly stars there. Right, you can see it down here where those little scratches on the leaves kind of brought those out from the background. So, real fun stuff. Uh, a few little scratches can be very effective. some of these clouds too. And again, I just want to remove the ink, not a bunch of the clay, you know. So I'm just kind of scratching down right below the uh, the ink. Right around in there I scratched a little off the uh, cloud tops. 
Anyways, we made it. Thanks so much for watching, and hope you enjoyed the 2x2 lighthouse tile.